dispute, with Camilla Parker Bowles, the Duchess of Cornwall during a family holiday to Balmoral. The Duchess of York joined the royal family for its annual holiday to Balmoral. She has been spending quite some time with the royal family this summer ahead of the wedding ceremony of daughter Princess Eugenie. However, family members seemed to be far from being happy as both Sarah and Camilla reportedly had an enormous row while they stayed together in the castle. According to a palace source, the explosive row that broke out between Sarah Ferguson and Camilla Parker Bowles was extremely intense. The source revealed, Fergie and Camilla came to blows at Balmoral last week, it was an enormous row that absolutely no one saw coming. And what could have been the reason for their hot brawl? The reason may not be unconnected from their 20 years built up tension over the late Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales. The sources disclosed, it seems that Fergie has never really confronted Camilla over the pain and heartache she caused Diana over her affair with Charles. The source continued, Fergie and Diana were close friends and she saw firsthand the anxiety and depression, that affair brought to her, and it's always churned away inside Fergie. Fergie couldn't hold it in anymore and really let Camilla have it during after-dinner drinks at Balmoral. The palace source also revealed that Sarah and Camilla have never seen eye to eye. Being at Balmoral brought back a lot of memories of Diana, and all the time they spent there together so it was only a matter of time before she let Camilla have it. It was reported that Sarah Ferguson told Camilla that she had blood on her hands for all the pain she caused. Report has it that both the Duchess of York and Diana were close friends. Sarah and Diana grew together for six years before each of them got married into the royal family. Diana supposedly introduced Sarah to Prince Andrew, after she invited Sarah to a polo match afterparty at Windsor Castle in the 1980s. Fergie once wrote about her late friend, Diana was one of the quickest wits I knew, nobody made me laugh like she did. Nevertheless, the duo seemingly had a quarrel few months before the tragic death of Princess Diana, when Sarah released a tell-all book titled My Story. The book contained a critical and unappealing story about Princess of Wales. In the book, Sarah claims to have contracted a wart on foot after borrowing a pair of shoes from Lady Diana. Lady Diana wasn't happy that she was mentioned at all in the book, after which Sarah reportedly promised not to talk about her anymore in the book. Immediately after Sarah published the book, Princess Diana cut contact with her. However, Sarah Ferguson tried to desperately make amendments with her one-time best friend. The sad thing however is Sarah Ferguson and Princess Diana never had the opportunity to speak again, before Princess Diana died in a car crash in August 1997.